And then we came back out in the arena to the acclaimed and Billy Gunn entrance. Did you like the rap? Can you give me can you give me a beat? Oh sh oh, you f <clears throat> Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm revving up. I'm not letting go of this opportunity. Uh, hold on. I'm over, uh, here. I'm over here, hold on. Hemina, 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 me, 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 my, my, my. I got mobile. one leg. I got one leg. I said a hip hop, hip it. Hip it, hip it, hip, hip, hop on one leg. You don't stop a rockin' to the bang, bang, boogie. Say up, jump the boogie to the rhythm of Brian Lass's kalimba. Oh, oh here we go. There's your beat, Jim. Okay. 80,000 people, that's colossal, but we never froze, so we're not Mitch McConnell. These other teams dressed looking bloodshot, they looking pissed like Trump in his mugshot. Yay! What is that? A, you got a strip club in there? Get off the pole, Brian. And put that dollar bill back in your fucking panties. All right. Don't talk about my panties on the air, please. Thank you. All right. So the ring was set up with a podium and a table and what was obviously brand new belts under black sheets or towels or whatever and they did a promo about winning the six-man tag team title and the fans were so excited about what they were saying they just said fuck it they start chanting scissor me daddy but they did a ribbon cutting ceremony with giant scissors and unveiled the new six-man tag team belts with hot pink leather and a scissor fastener on the back and they will defend these belts on Saturday night on Collision, and then they scissored the belts. And unbelievably enough, nobody came out to beat them up. But boy, how did, Billy even said at the start of this thing, well, we're running late. We hadn't got much time. I swear to God, what was this show? Plumber and Commander. Yeah. Um, Kingston and Useless. Yeah. A six-girl tag. Ugh. That's it in the way of matches and these interviews that, that don't end and that often don't have a purpose. Yeah. And they did manage to announce, as we mentioned so far, about four or five fucking matches for the pay-per-view happening five days away, four days away, whatever. But uh, the acclaimed are just floating. The people like them. They love them even. But a lot of this hinges on Billy. They've got now they've they've got this young twenty something year old tag team combination. Well, they're not that young. I think they're actually at least Caster. Someone told me Caster's in his early thirties. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, they've got this young tag team combination, and the most popular person is Billy, and he will be doing this forever. But that was that. Um, and they're going to defend the titles, as I mentioned, on Collision on Saturday. So we got that going for us. Other com they're floating? What do you think? What's going on here? <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't know what. Uh, I've kind of lost it for the acclaimed. I love that rap video they did the other day on, I guess, Collision. But these are the kind of segments I don't like when they're on Raw. You know, like... I'm not a fan. Obviously, it was a major success, and you could always say, look, it did great numbers, but that This Is Your Life, The Rock segment. It never went anywhere. You know, it was like it kind of happened, and then the show just moved on with the next segment. Nothing happened. Yeah. But it did a great number, but it wasn't good. With this, nothing... All of a sudden, there's a ribbon-cutting ceremony <laughs> for these new belts, 